it <laughs> just missed me. And this is the maitake mushroom. Growing upon, well, a dead trunk. I don't know if this is oak or sweet gum. Usually maitake grows on oaks. So I'm not entirely sure what tree this was. I wonder if this is harvestable. Where there's one, there's more. Yeah, there's some going up the tree, but I can't reach. How you guys doing? Sorry about what I'm wearing, but it's really windy. It's pretty cold and uh, branches be floating everywhere today. Hey. But uh, no, I mean, you know, some weather here. But this is the awesome maitake mushroom. This thing is extremely nutritious. It grows upon the trunks and stumps of uh, oak trees and several other hardwood species. But um, very characteristic to find it on oak trees in October. This is October, it's mid-October. This is an oak tree, a dead one. I should not be underneath it in this kind of wind. But uh, this is a great mushroom for beginners because you can't really mistake it for any others. It's a polypore and they are delicious. I've harvested these before, but please do not harvest any wild edibles without you know, teaming up with an expert and cross-referencing multiple re you know, resources because if you're wrong, you're dead. So I'm not telling you guys to, to eat this, but um, I have eaten my taki in the past and they're absolutely delicious. I saute them usually with a bit of uh, olive oil, some uh, diced up spring onion or shallots, touch of garlic. If you're lucky, you throw some capers in there and I like to throw just the smallest amount of Old Bay seasoning or salt and pepper. Um, these are just fabulous mushrooms, high in niacin, they are a major boost to the immune system. They're really good for that. And they kill several cancers. It's an all round extremely healthy mushroom. And as I said, they are delicious. You can freeze these, you know, you dice them up and freeze them and you can actually cook them from frozen. Don't thaw them. And they taste pretty much the way they do when they're fresh. Another thing I like to do with them is I'll boil them first because they can have bacteria and stuff on them before I saute or fry them. I also like to fry them with a touch of olive oil just to make them real crispy and just eat them that way. So, my taki. It grows from a, a single central stalk. I'm not gonna harvest this one. And branches out with multiple caps as you can see. So, what, a, what an awesome find these maitake mushrooms are. Now usually if I find a bunch of them, I will only take one. You know, I'm not one of those people that harvests everything he sees because to me that's just bad form. And that perfectly illustrates why you need to look out for widow makers, which are branches, dead branches on trees, especially, that can fall and impale you, just like this did to the ground. Wow, it's in there too. No joke. 